So by the end of the day, we were able to turn, I think, $6,000 into $27,000. Hi, everybody. This is Milky. Welcome back to another Pumpkin Days Let's Play. Today, thanks a lot for the comment suggestion. I finally collect enough wood planks to upgrade our house. I'm so super excited to have a new house and start decorating it. We probably will need a lot of in-game money, but you know what? Let's get started and let's decorate the house together today. Yay, this is awesome! I finally start getting pies from the town people. Thank you, sister. Well, I'm, I used to get a lot of ice creams and thanks a lot for the tips. I finally realized it was because I was... Uh, my favorite food, I selected ice cream. But now, after selecting pie, I should be able to get speed buff. I'm so yeah, happy for that. Now. Plus, I, I'm not sure. Pie seems to maybe worth more. Uh, just a little bit more. At least they give me the buff and I love it. Also, while I was talking to the sister, I think I got another main quest. Medicine for Sister Jung. So I need to go to the clinic to get some medicine for her. No problem, sister. You bet I will take care of that. So here's the quest location and there we go. We saw this little shiny medicine. Well, let's take a look. I wonder what, what kind of medicine is the sister eating? Deliver this as soon as you can. Well, unfortunately, I don't know what kind of uh, uh, medicine that the sister is eating. But, well, now we can help the sister to get his, uh, hopefully, healthy. Here we go. Let's deliver the medicine to Sister Jones. Wow, <laughs> that was a big medicine bottle. That's crazy. No problem, sister. And we received some nice little violet pot. Nice. I think that would be great for our house decoration. Oh, okay. And then she gave us another delivery request right after that. I, I bet we have some decent relationship with Sister Joan. Wow, yeah, actually pretty high. Lucky me, I was finishing the quest for Ivan and I got some sign from it. And I've noticed that we can actually use Sime, Sage, and Cilantro to make fish seasoning ourselves, which is so much better than buying it from the farmer's market. And I found out there's a lot of uh, fancy dishes that need it. So that's pretty great. And let's try to make one as an experiment. And then I'll probably make a lot, a lot more. But I love how a lot of the materials we can just cook for ourselves. So I will... I want to make it as much as possible, but actually I don't know where does the seasoning goes. Oh, here we go. And I think we should be able to make seven of it. That's great. Well, with our amazing fish seasoning and some fish plate, we would be able to make something called fish steak, which I assume is amazing and super profitable because it will be sold for 120. And if we assume that we're making the ingredients ourselves, the, all the ingredients only cost our 34 gold and it could sell for 120. So we can get a profit of 86 per dish, which is pretty good. This is so far the best one I found. The next one I found is curry tofu, which gives me a profit of 78. So hopefully I'll find the most profitable dish and share with you guys so we can all make money together. Today, I really really want to try how can we make money out of farmer's market. So, I actually bought a bunch of, you can see I made a bunch of tofu and then I have a lot of potato at home. And all I need is some cooking oil. So at the start, I didn't have the cooking oil here, but I used safe and load and finally got my cooking oil. And I think I want to buy as much as possible. Then I'm gonna cook a bunch of things using barbecue sauce, pork, curry powder and uh, cooking oil and then immediately sell it and then buy more so let's see so by the start of today i start with three thousand dollar and i want to see how much i can earn just out of uh, buying ingredients from the farmer's market and keep selling it back so with the crazy amount of uh, potatoes and the uh, sweet beans that i've been growing the whole winter i can make bunch of uh, fish and uh, fish and tofu oh no potato and tofu uh, using tofu and uh, potato and cooking oil so let's start with that and uh, i believe it's actually very profitable so if i use the potato that i grow myself and then the 
tofu, I made myself with the cooking oil that I wasn't able to make myself, um, and I sell it for a hundred and twenty. I will be able to make eighty three gold per dish, and then with this amount of the potatoes and the tofu, let's see how much I can make within a day. Also, I got some extra cash、um, from the mail, so I get. By the start of the day, I have around six thousand dollar cash. Well, with the amount of the ingredients I have, mostly constrained by the cooking oil, I'll be able to make forty eight chips and tofu. Oh gosh, we're gonna earn so much money by just having this much fish and tofu. And with my extra tofu, I can make tofu curry. Now here's Pang's the great part. I'm going to sell all the dishes that I just made. And、uh, oh, I'm not sure how much I could get out of this. Well, I think I have a forty nine chips and tofu, so I'm gonna sell all. And we already have a five thousand dollar. Then I have a curry tofu, sixteen of them. I'm going to sell all, sell all, sell all. Eleven <gasps> thousand. I'm so happy. And I still have so much potato and、uh, tofu left, so I'm going to buy more cooking oil and、uh, just make a lot, a lot, a lot, and see how much I can earn. Gosh, even though I still have a lot of cooking oil and tofu left, but that's all my tomatoes or、oh, potatoes. <laughs> oh gosh. And so, if we go to chips and tofu, this time we can at least make a hundred dishes again. Oh gosh, I'm so happy! Well, but I want to save because I don't want to accidentally make a hundred wrong dishes. But we would be able to make twelve hundred just off selling those dishes. Oh gosh, this just makes me so happy. Okay, I'm almost ready to sell my next batch of、uh, chips and potatoes. I hope you can let me sell all my chip and potato in the bag, which be a lot more convenient. But oh gosh, just look at the money pile in! <laughs> I'm so happy. I also made some tofu and pasta because I still have a lot of tofu left, and I don't know what to do with them. Well, at least now I can also buy tons of cooking oil to make tuna fries. And、uh, using, I also have a bunch of extra sugar. So as long as I have cooking oil, I can make a bunch of donuts. Today we're gonna make crazy amount of money. I found another one that's great to make money, which is just donuts. So it's just sugar. Flour, which I believe we can buy, we can have a lot, and then cooking oil. So sugar we can have a lot by growing bunch of sugar beets, and flour we can have a lot by growing weeds. I think so. All very easily accessible to us as long as we have the windmill, and we can make delicious, delicious donuts out of it. Amazing! And how much is a donut? Seventy gold. Unfortunately, not that much. Here we go. Now we can sell all the donuts we made, and I also made tons of tuna fries. It doesn't make too much money in terms of profit, but it is super easy to make with just cooking oil and tuna. So you have, if you have extra cooking oil and tuna, this I would recommend you to get rid of them through this way. Also, I still have so 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 many tofu just because how many soybean I've been growing. So I will do the same thing, which is buy pounds of curry powder to make、uh, tofu curry because I run out of potato, unfortunately. Wow, I don't know. I just really, really got into cooking, and I start buying bunch of materials, and I, you can actually see my money going down because I bought some expensive materials. But because I run out of rice, I decided to make this、uh, yummy tofu, which is the most complicated dishes I ever made. Um, I don't think I ever filled the bar before, so let's see how much it's gonna cost. I actually couldn't find out how much it will cost from the wiki, but only a hundred and ten gold. That's so horrible. It's so much worse than the、um, than just making the curry tofu, unfortunately. But I run out of rice. Wow! After searching, I think I officially. If I wasn't wrong, found that the, so far the most profitable dish is pumpkin latte. So with a pumpkin latte, well, I do need to buy espresso, which is very very expensive because we need to 
buy five grounded coffee to make it, but one pumpkin latte can sell for four hundred and fifty, and then I can make two hundred and fifty per pumpkin latte. That's amazing. So I'm going to save and load and get bunch of grounded coffee, milk, and vanilla, so we can sell bunch of pumpkin latte today. Okay, this will be our last sale of the day. I made tons of pumpkin latte, and、uh, by just selling twenty of them, I already got back to a thousand and eight hundred. And then I have more pumpkin latte, more tofu curry, and more curry tofu. <gasps> so by the end of the day, we were able to turn I think six thousand dollar into twenty seven thousand, which is amazing. I'm sure if I buy, I don't buy all the extra like espresso, barbecue sauce, or beef, I could get to even more. But this is amazing. I love farmers market, and I probably will utilize it a lot, lot more now. Well, I think that's it for our today's episode, where you witness Milky making crazy big bucks. Well, I I was so surprised that I never thought about making money this way, and it's so 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 nice. Well, unfortunately, because I was playing around with the farmers market, I missed the time to get a bigger house in this episode. But don't worry, with all this money, I'm going to get a big house in the next episode and buy all the decoration for it and make it super nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and please hit the like button if you do, and make some money out of my out of these ideas. Thank you so so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.